Hallo, mein Name ist Stefan Blust. Hallo, mein Name ist Stefan Blust. I am the industry manager food and beverage at Bomber. In this tutorial, I am going to show you the media saving potential when using the right conductivity sensor. The analysis we made in the food and beverage market proved that measuring instruments usually consists of two components. The drawback of conductive measurement using the inductive principle is temperature compensation. The first element is temperature sensor, to measure temperature while the second element, which is the plastic piece here, is required to measure conductivity. Together, these two elements achieve best performance. However, this two-piece principle is not very robust. For example, temperature shocks in CIP cycles from 85 degrees down to 4 degrees impose severe stress both on the sensor tip and the plastic piece. This may cause cracks and gaps which impair hygiene and the sensor's long-life properties. We at Balmer address the challenge in cooperation with the food industry. Together, we developed a new sensor, featuring a one-piece sensor tip, very thin and all plastic. This sensor tip is capable of extremely fast response times. This way, we end up with a robust sensor tip and in parallel very fast temperature compensation of merely 15 seconds, which is unrivaled in the field of one-piece designs. Now, follow me into the world of dairy industry. I would like to present you a calculation example of a dairy plant using parameters in phase separation. Taking for granted a pipe diameter of 80 millimeters, a CIP flow rate of 2 meters per second, of course, we use the inductive principle. So let's compare 50 seconds against the Balmer 15 seconds at a flow volume of 640 liters per minute, we end up with 533 liters in 50 seconds versus 160 liters in 15 seconds. This is a difference of 373 liters, which could be saved in every cycle of phase separation. These figures allow us to forecast the annual savings potential. For example, with three CIP cycles per day, at four phase separations each, multiplied with 200 production days, we end up with almost 1 million liters of media which could have been saved. And keep in mind that this result is per measuring point, meaning if there are several measuring points, it will even add up. Here you see how many media you can save. This example clearly shows the media savings potential. If you want to find out yours with your own parameters, use the online saving calculator on our website. In the next tutorial, I show you how it works. That's all for today. See you again in one of our other tutorials.